Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Watch Wrong. It seemed like you guys really enjoyed the series, so I have decided to do a part two. And before I get started, I do apologize for the delay on my YouTube video. That's because I have been really busy recently um, repairing more watches for, the, for my site before Christmas. Anyways, um, this series will be a bit longer than the previous one. And I hope you guys will enjoy it as well. So for the first example, I just have a picture of a an Omega watch movement. Can you spot what is the issue? So if you look carefully on this at this movement, you can see that um where the center where the weight sits, besides the weight, you will see a small little screw, and that screw is missing a clamp. And without that clamp, this weight will just fall right off if you turn uh, the watch over. And if you look to the top, the case clamp is also incorrect as well. So that's the issue on this piece. This next watch is an Omega Seamaster manual wine watch. And by looking at the case design, you know that this is a 1950s Omega watch. However, if you look at the look at the dial on this watch, you'll notice that where the Swiss made is, there are two T's. Two T's will indicate that this watch should have trillium luminous. However, there are no luminous on the L markers or on the hands, so that's an odd sign. And trillium is only on watches during the 1960s. And this is a 1950s watch. So this also indicate that the dial on this watch has been refinished it. This next watch is an Omega Seamaster DeVille watch. And the issue is very simple to spot. That's because the case design is not for an Omega Seamaster DeVille. The case lugs are incorrect and the bezel is a fixed bezel. On a genuine Seamaster DeVille, the bezel is removable. So by looking at the case in this photo, I know that the case back can also be open. And on a genuine Seamaster DeVille, the case back cannot be open. It is, it is a front, uh, one piece case with the movement loaded from the top. So that tells me that the dial in this watch definitely has been refinished it sometime in the past. This next watch is an Omega automatic watch, and there are two main issues on this watch. The first issue are these set of hands are not genuine vintage Omega hands. They are brand new set of hands, well, generic hands that are made to fit vintage Omega or any other brand names with the same hole size. And if you look at this dial, which indicates the second issue, uh, is that the dial is a refinished dial. And the sim simplest way to f find out on this dial is that there is some imperfection on the minute track in between the seven to eight o'clock position. And not to mention, if the hands has luminous, the hour indexes should have luminous as well. So this watch it, it has been poorly uh, restored. The issue on this next watch was a giveaway if you actually saw the original post for, for, for this watch. Uh, the seller provided a uh, picture of the movement and it was a manual wine movement. So right away, that was a giveaway telling you that the dial on this watch has been refinished. It. That's because if the movement is manual wine, the dial should not say automatic. And if you look at this dial, it does say Omega Automatic. So basically, this has been a refinished dial, and those set of hands are also incorrect. This next watch is an Omega Seamaster Chronograph. So first, I'll show you the front view of this watch. 
As you can see, the dial is in excellent condition. The hands are also in very good condition. But the case, if you look at the, the case, it seems like it has been overly polished it as the lugs are all rounded. And then, um, so next I'll show you the case back. And from looking at the case back, you will probably know there's some issue with this watch. And here's a picture of the case back. And if you look at the case back, that purple stuff is the original lacquer that came with the watch. Well, came with the case back. And it's usually on a vintage watch, you will not see this original lacquer anymore because over the year, it eventually will fall off. So that's a sign that this case back is most likely brand new. And if you compare with the front of the case, well, the front of the case has been overly polished it. So it's telling me that the original case back that came with the watch probably got replaced with this one. So uh, if you look forward to buy a timepiece like this, I suggest you should just pass. Here we have an Omega Seamaster DeVille. By looking at this picture, can you see any odd sign about this watch? Well, by looking, looking at the dial in this watch, you know right away that this is a refinished dial. That's because Omega Seamaster DeVille does not make a dial with the word DeVille above Seamaster. This next piece may take someone who is more familiar with Vintage Omega. That's because when you look at the dial in this watch, it's a Geneve Seamaster. And if you look at the case, if you're familiar with Vintage Omega, you'll know that this case does not belong to a Seamaster watch. And then um, the next thing, the well, the next issue will be look, uh, looking at the our indexes. There are rays. Rays our indexes means the date window should be there and also race. And if you look at this this dial, the date window is missing. So it indicates that um, the dial in this watch has been refinished. It. This next watch is an Omega Seamaster DeVille. This one, I would say, can be quite tricky because the dial is very, very well done. So um, it might fool a lot of people thinking that this may be a factory original finished dial but um, they did make a mistake while printing um, this dial and that's because looking at the Swiss made there are two T's and again two T's indicate that the dial should have luminous and if you look at this dial there are no luminous at all even on the out indexes and all that they only have the black paint or it could be black onyx so uh, this indicates that this watch has a refinished dial this next piece is an all original omega constellation c case model and by looking at this watch there's nothing wrong with the watch itself if you're looking from exterior wise however um, once i provide you with the uh, inside of the watch like uh, the picture of the movement you'll notice that there's something wrong with this watch by looking at this movement you'll notice that there are two error that you can pick up right away that tells you this movement has been modified and well has been switched with the original constellation movement because caliber 565 is never an omega constellation caliber and if you look at the automatic bridge it does not say temperature or adjusted so that mean the bridge is correct for caliber 565 but the movement itself does not belong to this Omega constellation watch this next watch is an easy peasy one so by looking at this watch, you'll know instantly that this dial has been refinished it due to the fresh luminous that's on the dial and the font is also incorrect. And then by looking at the hands, you'll know that this set of hand most likely 
does not belong to the swatch because of uh, the length for the, the minute hand and also the hands do not have luminous and if the dial has luminous the hand have to have luminous as well and if you look at the sub second hand that hand is way too short so it's probably cut off or well most likely does not belong to this watch as well here's an omega watch with the black waffle dial and if you are new to the uh, omega watch market well vintage watch market you'll probably uh, buy this watch without second thought but if you do your research you'll notice that the case on this watch is a beefy or fat lux case model which belong to an omega seamaster watch but if you look at the dial on this watch it's a constellation and if you look at the cross here on the dial it is poorly printed on so this tells you that the dial has been refinished it and it should say Seamaster originally on the dial, not Constellation. And one other thing is if the dial say Constellation, below the Constellation should have a little star to represent this is a Constellation watch. So watch out for something like this and don't get, uh, well, don't let the black waffle fool you. Here's an attractive vintage Omega 30T2 watch. This is a rare watch due to the uh, special set of hands and the salmon two-tone dial. However, by examining this watch, you'll notice that there's one major issue with this watch. And this issue is actually pretty bad. Um, by looking at this watch, you, you uh, it's probably hard to spot if you're not um, familiar with Vintage Omega, but if you look at the top right lugs, it's actually missing a piece. So it's probably broken off. And in that case, it makes the watch not that um, attractive and it takes away a lot of the value. And you probably don't want to wear a watch with a damaged case. So do examine the case when you're looking at a timepiece. This next watch, I do not have a picture of the, the watch itself, but I just uh, have these extra uh, picture of the movement. And um, what I want to say is on this post, the seller described that he has serviced it, this watch. But if by looking at this picture, it is a nightmare to all watchmakers because nobody would repair the watch uh, under a, um, a, a bounty sheet of paper. So that's very unprofessional. And I also have another photo that uh, he provided, the seller. And if you look closely, there's a piece of hair. So that's not very professional either. So, and the seller himself described that this watch has been professionally serviced it but by looking at the two photo no it is not this next watch is an omega constellation with black dial once again don't let the black dial distract you from examining the rest of the watch um, basically if you look at this watch the case and everything seems to be correct however if you look at at this uh, black dial, you'll find that next to the Swiss made, there are two T's. And this case model is um, was produced in in the 1950s. And 1950s would not have Swiss made with the two T's. So instantly, you know, this black dial has been refinished. It. Here's another 1950s Omega Constellation watch. Um, this one is very easy to spot the issue besides the incorrect crown if you look at the case on this watch something's it's uh odd uh and that's because the solid gold bezel is missing on this case on this next omega watch can you spot what is the issue this one may be a little bit tricky because the the seller i guess trying to be clever or smart or sneaky um, if you notice that uh, he set the hand so that you cannot tell that the minute hand is incorrect 
has been replaced because uh, the minute hand should be the same as the hour hand, which is a dolphin type hands. But on this watch, it is not. Here's another watch with hands issues. Uh, this is a beefy or fat lugged Omega watch from the 1950s. And if you look at those hands, the hour and the minute hands are both incorrect. Uh, that's because for this case model, the hands should be dolphin type hands. And if you look at the hands on this watch, they are both index hand. And if you look at these index hands, they're, they're not even Omega index hands. So uh, incorrect replacement and also not genuine Omega hands replacement as well. This next watch is an Omega Seamaster calendar watch. And whoever did the dial refinish on this watch did a very good job because um, the luminous is actually orange. So a lot of people would mistaken that this must be a genuine factory original finished dial. However, it is not. It is a redial. That's because if you look at, look at the crosshair, uh, it does not go... Um, go right through the uh, Seamaster calendar and it does not go right through the Omega automatic as well. So instantly, you know, this has been refinished it. Last but not least, I've saved this uh, 1950s Omega Constellation for last. Uh, this one actually gave me a big laugh because uh, whoever did the dial re refinish on this one, um, not only that the font are very incorrect but how the guy um, set back the uh, our markers are also incorrect as well because on this watch if you look at all the our markers um, from well the one o'clock two o'clock and then the four o'clock and the five o'clock and so on they are fitted the wrong way and they are supposed to be fitted um the other way so they need to flip these our markers so that uh, the watch look correct again and uh, I do have an example so if you look at this one this is the correct way to set the our markers for this uh, dial and and of course I'm um, supposed to have luminous as well so yeah just uh, this one is quite a funny one. <laughs> That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I was able to edu educate you guys some more. And I do hope that I can produce more of these videos in the future. If you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. And uh, not forget to subscribe to this channel and also follow me on Instagram. Uh, wishing everyone a happy and wonderful 2019.